Hi, what's good, you two? Welcome back to another freaking video, bro. In this video, y'all see what we got, bro. We got fresh and fit. Y'all know we like to talk about these topics. Hey, I need some more reaction suggestions. I'm running out, bro. I don't just gotta react to fresh and fit. I can react anything that y'all want me to do. Y'all want me to do another try not to laugh. Y'all want me to do something else. Send me some stuff to react to, bro. Send me some shit. I'm tired of reacting to fresh and fit. Send me some stuff to react to. I'm gonna just keep reacting to what I want to react to. All right, but the reason why I did not upload yesterday, cause this for one. Uh, y'all yeah, know this not my room this not my house um and i moved into somebody's space and he wanted his space yesterday um yeah with his girlfriend and stuff so i was gonna interrupt that and y'all know that i upload the video off hold on, let me take this up kind of start off the screen oh trip i'm tripping i'm on the wrong thing and y'all know i i moved in with um i bought myself to his room and i basically work inside here but he, uh, him and his old lady was up here yesterday, and I had to respect that, and I couldn't keep just like um coming in and sit up in here and try to stream and and do all this extra stuff for y'all. So yeah, I hope y'all understand. Well, y'all ain't got no truth, but understand. That's why I didn't upload yesterday. Us stream because it is not my room. He wanted the room to stuff yesterday with his girlfriend, and I had to respect that. So as soon as I got off work, hey, the door was locked. The only thing I could, hey, the only thing I did was upload on my main channel and do my push ups and stuff, bro. I couldn't do nothing else really. But hey, let's hop straight into it. <laughs> The dude's like the one for you, and you might say you might feel it, yeah. but you still can kind of keep like your DMs open and stuff like that. I feel like you know what, I want to go go that's loyal, loyal to me, and if I can't see that, then it turns me off. I mean, yeah. there's a problem yeah. I think like every, every man has with that. If you mm. guys don't make it clear with us that you guys want something serious, of oh, you can't bring the food up, so it's gonna kill you. No, I didn't know if you wanted anything on it. That's all I was saying. Uh, thank you. How to make a video. Of course, so, we're gonna keep our options here. open. Mm -hmm. Thank like, you. Yeah, get sure. a so, like, for the you can't expect us to be like curving everybody if we're not sure if you're gonna be with us. You know what I'm what saying? Good? But what yeah, is? I feel like even after that's known, you still keep it open. Oh, no, There's I'm a problem I think like every man has with that. If you mm -hmm. guys don't make it clear with us that you guys want something serious, of course, we're gonna keep our options open. Mm -hmm. Like, that's for sure. So, like, you can't expect us to be like curving everybody if we're not sure if you're gonna be with us you know what i'm saying but yeah i feel like even after that's known you still keep it open just because what like think about it right your instagram i don't know you get dms all there you go women can't take no accountability at all. You go to Instagram. all day right doesn't mean i answer them but i may look at them exactly they're there no accountability she says she may look at them obviously you giving it attention bro but i'm not answering them but the thing is, options are always in front of your face. So no matter what, no matter what I do, they're always going to be in your face. So you don't want a woman that, like, is desired by other men? No. Hell no. I want a woman that come home, comes home to me, that only sees me in that light, but at the same time can tell guys no. But that's hard to find because nowadays, like, you got athletes, rappers, celebrities. How It's tough to say no. It, it really is tough to say no. Easy I'll, temptation. I'll yeah. But at the same time, if you want me... And everything I bring to the table, then it's kind of like, okay, you know what? If you can't do that one thing, then I'm, I'm cool. To that. Like, like this, uh, Mexico, to that. you know, you got proposed to it. Like, it's the opposite way around. She think that uh, that it make her attractive that most um, dudes want her and stuff like that. In my opinion, I want a female with the attention off of them. You know? The the the, the non-social media stuff, bro. You did. Well, that's just me speaking, bro. It's the opposite way around. Though. Females are more attractive to a bad boy, a dude that got all the females and shit. That's what they more attracted to. They gonna cap and say they're not aroused by that. Coochie be soaking wet when they see a nigga like that. Yeah. Forgot. <laughs> I forgot that. She's like ready for it. There you go. Okay, um, so next question. Uh, oh, Shaytan. Okay. Oh, crap. Uh, I got you gotta talk to the mic though. Oh, I'm genuinely just curious about this. Sure. Okay, so I, I see like guys who obviously make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And they go for these like I don't even want to say, it, but like yeah, they go for, they great. go for putas. Like <laughs> <laughs> sometimes putas begin that like, good good. No, so like yeah. Yeah. I get that good good too. Right. 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 Hold on, what a description that. Let's see what y'all post on y'all Instagram and stuff. And we're gonna see why they go for the the really not known females. Hold on, what Instagram is that? They always plug it. It's probably on the real podcast, but. Okay, 
Okay, well, like, like, I'm not gonna lie, like, for instance, like, uh, it's like, a girl can work so hard on working so, uh, like, hard on herself, looking super pretty, mm -hmm. whatever, and then you see these guys that, like, for instance, I like what I, if I see something in a guy, I, I'll see myself, right? Yep. I'm like, oh, this guy makes money, you know, he has his business, whatever, <laughs> and he'll go for, like, a stripper, and I'm like, what? Or, like, someone who just doesn't do anything but... He just wanna fuck the stripper. Lay on really? the couch. I'm like, why, why am I, I mean, even not, trying not so all hard? strippers like, are like... Wow. Well, well, no, no, like, you, I mean, get, you get what I'm saying? Know, like, I'm a stripper and I don't lay on my couch all the time. No. Oh, shit. Why <laughs> 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 she talk like that? She talk like she ran out of breath. I'm a stripper and they... Oh, okay. I don't mean it like that, but in yeah. in, in a sense where it's just like people who are not doing anything. So right. it, it sometimes makes me feel like, why do I even try so hard? I can't, here, so, I'll, yeah, not strippers, cause she. I promise you that how they man is gonna. He, hey, that stripper is gonna probably have a one night stand. She gonna get the right on another day. But nah, uh, I, yeah. I, I see it let all me, the time. Let me yeah. translate the woman needs, gentlemen. Yeah. What she's asking is this. Why is it that as a higher earning woman that is successful and has her own business minded mm -hmm. uh, ground, losing out to women that are quite frankly lower than me as socioeconomically? Correct? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Good question. Nope. <clears throat> you know, I'm not good. You got it. Quick, <laughs> so, very good question. I'll explain in, in detail, right? So, what do guys really want? And, and be ready because this yeah. is uh, like yeah. he's gonna give you a very honest truth that men are not gonna tell you right what now. What do guys really pussy. want? Okay, it's pussy, and they want a submissive woman. Okay, yeah. oh, perfect, right? Yeah. You know, so off rip, right? Why you would you don't girl? I work at McDonald's, right? She a stripper, automatic red flag. <laughs> she she a one night stand. Not because she's um gonna help us pay bills, but because one she's attractive, right? Young, and then two for the most part. She doesn't have all the drama and all the like the headache of you know what mm -hmm. I'm a boss babe. Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? It's kind of like less headache for us, and she's submissive. Mm -hmm. So the average career woman in today's society is very strong opinionated. She's very like um how to put this uh, combative, and most guys would rather say you know what I'll go to strip club, find a hot chick that's that's cool down to earth, and mess with her rather than a girl that's like a business woman because I know when I come home from the battle fighting dragon whatever I got to deal with this headache. And secondly, like let's say I want to just vibe, relax, chill. A girl that doesn't have all those like, you know, barriers or built up like um, tensions won't have that problem to me. So I feel like as as most guys, I nigga just want peace for real, bro. That's it. Females are so uh, dramas, a uh, attention seekers, bro. Like you know, females love them some drama. Like at my, bro, at my job, every time I walk out. Every time I walk out from the back of going to the break room, I pass up a hall. I see uh, and hear somebody talking about somebody. Like, what the hell? We'll take anything that's like coming to us, but at the same time, if it's less stress. See, I want we'll the take... opposite, though. Uh, I got a quick question. So, you're an entrepreneur, right? Yeah. Okay. Are you, would you consider yourself a boss babe, strong, independent woman? Uh, yeah. Okay. That's all right. But <laughs> I could be very submissive in a relationship. Okay. But to, the, to the right man, though. To the right man. Yeah. I'm yeah. not. <laughs> you got I'm, very, mic, sorry, right I'm yeah. very, like, um. I... They literally all, they all say the same thing. I'm not going to be submissive unless it's the right man. You won't. Bro, you would never know. That's how you be submissive to every man in two dicks. You would never know if that's your man or not. That's like saying a dude acting like a punk. A female dressing up in a skirt or whatever, acting all feminine, um, doing this when he talk, and like only, and then he doing it to every girl. Of course, he's not gonna find a girl he's looking for, cause he, you know. But you gotta act. I mean, you gotta act submissive all the time, bro. I won't even go on a date until I'm just like, okay, like after a couple shots. Um, but then to the it's right good. guy, I'll is, completely bro. be submissive. Like I'm not like controlling yeah. or yeah, I'm not you trying have, to you like- have a, You have a threshold. Like a man has to rise to a certain level to be, for you to be able to submissive to him, right? 100%. Yep. So <laughs> I want to ask for something and don't be mad at me. But that's why. Would it, so you just said earlier about men being toxic because you, you don't like being controlled, but you would be submissive to the right guy. Like that, isn't that still controlling? Like, right? Mm. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I just really want to know. Like, no, no, that's a good you said point. you made submissive. Like, you, you were submissive to your exes, but they were toxic, but you would be... I don't get it. I feel like maybe... I don't know what it is, but it's like... I think that every girl has that, if that makes sense, where it's just what? like, if you don't want to sub be submissive... For instance, let's say my ex, he made, let's yeah. say... 
50k a year. Or, uh-huh. yeah. So what? if he makes a million, he, he, you happily he, 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 He's uh, nice. So, so he's toxic happens. because he's broke. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And insecure. Yes. And and insecure. He doesn't know what to do when he's broke. <laughs> yeah. You don't know what to do when you're a millionaire. Baby, don't tell me what to do, you you like Baby, no, what to do like when that. you can't even right. pay your bills. Uh, I'll, I'll say this, I'll say this real quick. I'm going to give you the most real answer ever, and you're probably not going to like this, but I'm going to say it anyway. I right? And I walk up to you and I say, I you Oh my God, your dress is gorgeous. I love your heels. I love your hair. We can get it done. Oh my God, you're so sexy. You literally sound like all the time. Okay, now, now. And I go, Oh my God, you're so hot. I love your tattoos. Where are you getting done? Would you want to go on a date with me? How'd you feel? Um, okay, so first of all, no, you would not go on a date no. with me. Can you tell me why briefly? Um, I, I just feel like one, like you're just using a, an excuse like to talk to me uh-huh. and you're just super shallow. Hey, but I mean, if, you, if you're at least like you're beautiful or you notice something about me or like what? let's stand, okay, I don't know. She's so tab. Bro, if a punk walk up to you and be like, uh, oh my gosh, can we go on a date, please? Like, you're so hot. Like, she's no, she might even be lying. It's because you be feminine, bro. The real reason you wouldn't want to go out on a date with me is because I'm being, acting like I'm gay, correct? Yes. And that's a turn off. Yeah. Okay. It's cheesy. It's cheesy. Literally, okay. I hear all the time, oh, I love your hair. I love your tattoos. Every single guy. It's so cheesy. I'm so over but, but it. Say something the, different. But the point is, is the she way I said it point. Because I, I, if I was hot enough and I told you those same compliments, it would be different. The yes. point is, you didn't like the context in which I spoke to you in a feminine gay manner, correct? Yes. That's exactly how men feel about masculine women. Yep. Damn, wow. son. Ooh. Where'd you go? So, oh. so that, that gut-wrenching feeling oh. when a, a man is feminine talking to you, talk, uh, hitting, on, hitting on you, that's mm-hmm. exactly how men feel. Now, here's another thing. You want to know why you lose to girls that make significantly less money than you mm. and etc. to the high value guys? I'll tell you why right now. Not only do men not like masculine women, but you make a certain amount of money, which means when you make a certain amount of money, you're incapable of looking at men that make less money than you. Women have to date up. So therefore, as your socioeconomic status goes up, so does your dating options or excuse me, your dating requirements. Yeah. Here's the problem, though. Men don't have those requirements. We can easily date down if we need to, because men don't look for security and provisioning. See, I tend to look to date down. Like sure. you, do. Mm-hmm. you do. So therefore, you're only limited to your suitable options that make a certain amount of money, typically higher than you, sometimes equal, but let's keep it real. Most of them want a guy that makes about 25% more money than they do. So you're fighting for a very small portion of men that have no problem dating down against your competition. That's why you lose girls. That's why you lose guys to these bimbos that you talk about. Well said, sir. Well said. Well said. So anyway, keep it real. And, um, right, yeah. right, keep yeah. it real. I will say what the, t- the chat is thinking. Girls, yeah. can you stand up and show the chat what's going on? Oh yeah, they, they want to see a twirl. They want to see. They want to see a twirl. So I'm, I'm a, a dancer. Let's take me home. Just a little bit, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Danny. Okay. These girls look good, guys. Oh, 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 okay. Ukraine, okay. Twirl, Ukraine. Whichever one natural, that's the yeah, whichever one don't gotta be BBL. Okay. <laughs> she the coolest one though. She looking more natural oh, okay. than anybody. Okay. 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 You guys can see some of the action. <laughs> Look, I already decided we're gonna go for vacation in Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. I just came from there. So, uh, so Chicago, I don't know if that made kind of sense, but like no, that's why so um women like yourself that are entrepreneurs that tend to have a little bit more masculine attributes, you're always gonna lose men to younger, yeah. more attractive girls that are more feminine and submissive. Which is why the boss this is assistant. This this is why like the t- the top the top guy will date like a girl that's like very like uh, at the bottom of the company because once again she's submissive, she respects him, and it's gonna be a better deal for him. And the other thing too, I so, think one of the biggest mistakes mm. women make is thinking that well, I'm indeed. successful, he should want me. Like I make money, I'm a boss, babe. Like he should want me. The thing is that the things that make a man attractive, making money, being assertive, decisive, etc., being a mm. boss, doesn't necessarily make a woman attractive. Yeah. What you're doing is you're you're basically conflating female attraction triggers to male attraction triggers, and men are completely different than you guys when it comes to what we're turned on by. Which actually, I was taking notes earlier when you were talking about contra- toxic men and stuff, and I have something else that I want to discuss later, but we'll continue on. Yeah. Okay. 
All right. Uh, everyone Ukraine. just adds that in this situation, if they have a baby, the baby will. I don't see how they always get called misogynistic, but they really helping females now. Since Miss Chicago listened to him, she might go out and get her life together and find her high value man just from information that Myron just gave her. But nobody never see the good and what they do. I guess they just misogyny. Misogynist and say, hey, make sure I like, comment, subscribe. See y'all in the next video. My fault I was eating. I don't know if I was eating that look. ASMR. <laughs> Hi, Bri. I like, comment, subscribe, bro.